Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are playing Lives of P on the Asus TUF A15 gaming laptop. This laptop has an RTX 4060, an AMD Ryzen 7 with 8 cores and 16 threads. It has 16 gigs of RAM, DDR5, extremely powerful laptop, runs basically every single game at max settings. I've tested many games on the channel, so maybe hit subscribe. My next subscriber will be my 69th subscriber. So if you want to do that, I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to, but it will be greatly appreciated. So anyways, starting from Epic, as you can see, we're right now getting about 140 frames. And this is quite a big environment and area of the game. And as you can see, it is running absolutely fine. The game is absolutely stunning. One of the best games, best looking games anyways, of this year. Made by a company that isn't even that big. And the fact that the game performs this great. Um, I'm pretty sure the recommended specs was a GTX 1660. And honestly, I am blown away how good this game runs. Like, even on Ultra, the game runs great without DLSS. And in a second, we will be turning on DLSS. So please do stay tuned. Please watch the whole video all the way through. It'd be greatly appreciated. It really helps me and really helps the video grow and actually expand and grow the channel. If you want to, you can subscribe and like this video. That's also greatly appreciated. If you want to, comment below a game you would like me to do if I haven't already. I have done multiple videos already, so maybe go check them out. I do have a playlist. It'll probably pop up any second. Um, but yeah, so in a second, we are going to go and we're going to turn the game to high. But I just wanted to walk around and test out the LSS. So we are going to put it down each setting just on Ultra just to show you the differences in FPS. Still getting about 144 frames, no problem. This laptop, honestly, every game I've tested, it just blows me away even more and more. If you are thinking of getting a gaming laptop in 2023 or even 2024, I would definitely recommend this laptop if your budget's around the £1,000 slash euro dollar mark. If you can get it on a Black Friday sale, I would definitely, definitely say get it. Um, I got mine for a good deal. It was just on an Amazon deal. So I just got lucky at the time. But yeah, no, I definitely, definitely would recommend this laptop. Like it literally runs everything. It has a 144 hertz screen as well. So for you guys who really like high FPS, that's perfect for you. Now, to be honest, I'm kind of a gamer that's kind of just happy out, which is 60 frames. Game looks good. I'm happy. But since I have this laptop now, I just play it best FPS possible at the highest quality possible. Because I'm just like, why not? It has a great GPU, great CPU and everything. Now we're in the high performance mode. So as you can see, the quality has dipped a little. Game still looks great. Definitely still very, very playable. Getting an easy 140 frames. It's not making a huge difference considering... It is such high FPS, you are going to have a little bit of CPU uh, bottlenecking. Now we're going to turn that off just to show you the difference. It is still staying around the 140 frames per second. So again, it seems to be a CPU bottleneck, which is not a bad thing, considering we're, we are getting around 144 frames. So now I have the game set to high and it is still, it's actually running a little bit worse. Give it a couple seconds. There we go. Now it's even more stable. You can see it's actually starting to cool down a bit in the GPU and CPU side. So obviously the utilization has gone down a little bit. So you are going to, if you are playing portable, I guess, having a little bit lower is probably a good idea and capping the frames, you will get more power and uh, you'll be able to, you, sorry, you'll be able to use less power and the laptop will actually run for longer. So maybe that would be a better suggestion if you want to play, but if you're playing it plugged in, I just have it set to ultra to be honest with you the game runs great and it looks incredible if you are a fan of lives of p and you actually have any tips and tricks i will be live streaming this this weekend if you're interested help me out because i'm not the greatest as you can see this is literally my first ever time playing the game but i do love it i genuinely love the aesthetic of the game i love everything about it it's just a great looking game right so now we're going to go down to medium and we're going to quickly just go through this and show you real quick we're getting around 140 frames still. As I said, CPU bottlenecking. You're not really going to get much more performance than 140 frames. Which, to be honest, in a game like this, 140 frames is way more than enough. The game doesn't look as good. The quality has dipped a bit. Shading and shadows and the reflections aren't as great. And as you're going to see now in a minute on low, the game is going to look a lot worse. 
Um, but if you did enjoy this video, guys, please do leave a like and subscribe. A video will pop up in a second if you wouldn't mind watching that video as well. Please help me blow up this video and my channel. I really do appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.